I'm here to give you guys a recap on the new chapter or episode of Ruby Volume 5, which is on episode or chapter 11. This chapter or episode, wow, 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 wow. Wow. <laughs> you know, I remember reading a certain reaction post about this yesterday, you know, and I didn't want to watch it yet because, like, um, I think I wanted to watch it with, like, certain family members, but I guess, like, due to the change of plans in life, you know, I was unable to, so I watched it without them, which really sucks, but, you know, this chapter and episode right here, damn, just damn, and that ending right there, yeah. Ugh. <laughs> Let's just get this started. We had we had to it that we had to it that after the opening, Ruby with Yang and Weiss, along with like Ren, Nor, and John, enter the place along with Oscar and Crow of where Leo wanted to like go um, see them. And Leo's like, "You guys brought your weapons, huh?" I'm thinking on mine. Yeah, you. F I would just want to kill you. We had to it that Yang Yang realizes that it's Raven and ends up ends up calling out calling out to her. And we have to it that Raven on the other hand says, If you're gonna shoot me, shoot me. And we have to it that Crow goes like, What the hell are you doing here? And we have to it that Raven's like, I should be asking you the same thing. Leo here is helping me out on a certain occasion. And Crow goes like, I know you have the Spring Maiden, so hand him over and let's work together, okay? And Raven's like, you've been so blinded with with information without even realizing it that you can't defeat Salem. That's it, you understand me? And we have to it that Ruby gives out a speech to Raven and says, you know, we, we did the impossible. And it's not because we did it because of skill. We did it with our help, with the help of friends and other people. I'm pretty sure we could work things out if you allow us to work it out. Please, come with us, join us, and let us stop Salem. And we have to it that I made a prediction or like um, that Raven would say, you sound a lot just like your mother. And we have to it that Raven opens her semblance portal and we have to it that that um, Hazel, I believe, ends up closing the door, locking it, and therefore the semblance that, that Raven opens allowed Cinder, Mercury, Emerald, and like, um, who else? Um, Vernal to come through, and Hazel, on the other hand, closes the door behind him, behind them and says, the White Fang are already on a demolition charge. Once this is, once it starts, everything will be destroyed. Nothing goes in, nothing goes out. And Adam therefore has his fondest White Fang members have the detonation bombs get ready to detonate. And we had to it that, like, um, Crow asks Raven, like, what the hell were you doing, huh? How long have you been with them? And Cinder, on the other hand, mocks Crow by saying, don't be too offended, little bird. She was only an a small she was only a small addition to our crew but Leo on the other hand has been part of our crew for a long time Crow was really upset about this and etc and we have to it that John therefore screams at Cinder and says how can you take so many lies and be so happy about it and put a smile on your face huh everyone was getting ready for combat and therefore John asks Cinder to say something and Cinder's like who are you again I'm thinking my mind now that's gotta hurt. Jean gets really upset about this and clashes against against Cinder to maybe avenge Pyrrha at the same time. But Cinder effortlessly was just like toying with Jean without even having to use her full power. We have to it that Ruby tries to come in to help help Jean out, but Emerald interferes and they clash. And we have to it that Mercury clashes against Yang and sarcastically says, "Don't you owe me an apology for what you did to my leg?" I think I don't mind, Yang, I swear, if you don't break this guy's legs, it's gonna make me snap. <laughs> because Mercury, we all know Mercury and Emerald work together to fool Yang into a fool. Whatever. Going back to another scene, Crow clashes against Raven and gets really upset about her, about what she has done. And, uh, and pretty much Raven says, I did what I had to do. And we have to it that, um... Crow gets really upset about this, and Raven goes like, it looks like we're not family anymore, huh? 
And Crow's like, we never been family, all right? And they end up clashing sword to sword. While Weiss ends up taking on Vernal and she tries to prepare her attacks, but it's effortless. Because Vernal's like going out all out offensive, not allowing her to get a slight advantage. While Hazel, on the other hand, does not want to fight Nora and Ren. He has no other option and he, and he gets ready to fight. As for Leo, he ends up clashing against Oscar while he realizes that it's actually Ospin. And he goes like, I knew you'd come back, but this? How'd you know? Oscar, on the other hand, effortlessly was pushing Leo back onto pushing Leo back really, really badly to a point where he's unable to fight back. But we have to it that Leo, it looks like to me he wants to work with Salem so he could be free from all this. Maybe from his responsibilities to his like um duties that it, it, that he was given that it was given to Ospin, etc. 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 And we have to it that um Oscar asked Ospin, like, what do I do from here? And we had to it that Ospin tells Oscar to fight. That's it. We had to it that it goes to a scene where Weiss is literally having is struggling against Vanal while she's unable to summon her knight or use her pals to the fullest because Vernal is literally going out all out offensive to like um defeat Weiss. While Jean, on the other hand, is being beaten down by Cinder. We had to it that Ruby asked Emerald, why are you working with, with Salem? You know what she is, and Emerald therefore tells Ruby, I don't care about Salem. I owe everything to Cinder or what she's done for me. That's why I'm doing this. While we had to it that Emerald fooled Ruby with her illusion, we had to it that um, Weiss is still struggling, struggling against Vernal, and we had to it that... Um, that John is just looking far away at his like former crush or former interest, you know. And we have to it that um, Cinder mocks John for by saying, "You're gonna let her die too." And that was just messed up because Cinder, like we all know, Cinder killed Pyrrha, you know. And now she's openly mocking John by saying, "You're just gonna let her die too, just like you did last time." And John tries to effortless tries to fight. Um, Cinder again, but we add to it that Ruby ends up having that same vision where John might get, where John might end up getting killed, you know, along with like um, and well, like I said, um, John was about to be is about to be slashed by Cinder, and Ruby has that same vision or premonition that John might get killed, and she unexpectedly activated her silver eye powers and gets knocked out by Emerald. C Cinder, on the other hand, is weakened by this, as Salem says it alone. Like, um, we have to it that Salem did mention it's because of the maiden's power. It's like she's weakened against the silver-eyed warriors. So, it looks like to me the maidens are not all out strong. It looks like their weakness is against silver-eyed warriors, while Ruby unintentionally activated her powers of a light that actually weakened Cinder. But not to a point where Jean is able to land a blow on her, but maybe, maybe put a scratch on her mask. Eye mask. We have to it that Cinder mocks Sean and tells him, You think you stand a chance against me? You're just an idiot who's ready to die. And Sean, on the other hand, says, I don't care if I die. All those those people is what I care about and matter. As long as they could like change the future. We had to it that Cinder, on the other hand, decides to take advantage of this weakness while Weiss is beaten down without knowing Cinder activate creates a spear out of her powers. And throws it at Weiss while Jean tells Cinder to stop. But she does not listen. And the spear hits Weiss. And she ends up. And everyone else stops fighting while they see Weiss get hit by a spear. And possibly fall down and unconscious. The way, the way how she got hit. I don't know if it's either a fatal wound or like a critical wound where she can't fight anymore. But she's going to be out for a while possibly. And it ends off there. So yeah, the ambush does start, like I said, and well, the ambush, in overall summary, the ambush does start, the White Fang's on the move to destroy Haven Academy, and we have to it that, um, Cinder and her group with Renal and everyone else battles the entire group against Crow and Ruby, you know, and of course Cinder effortlessly fights John and ends up critically or possibly killed Weiss, but 
I highly doubt Weiss is going to die. She's way too important to die out. That would be very, very messed up and would no longer be called Ruby anymore, obviously, etc. Aside from that, Raven, there's... I don't know what's going to happen to her, but I know Karma is going to be totally ugly upon her. That's for sure. I know Karma is going to hit her hard than ever. As for Cinder, I know Karma is going to hit her hard too. Ruby, on the other hand, had to drop her guard as usual, which is really ridiculous. Un unintentionally used her silver eye powers, and now she's going to be a main target for here and there. I don't know, but yeah. Yeah, Cinder, man. I mean, that girl's like freaking savage. <laughs> I mean, I knew she was like freaking cruel, but not to a point where she's just torturing John and going after Wise to that was John's former crush or love interest. Dang. <sighs> Dude. <laughs> I don't know what's gonna happen, but I hope John act has his after I hope John activates his semblance or powers that after seeing that stressful after seeing all that, etc. Because I don't know. So, until then, I will see you guys in my next video. So, I'm off of zero, people. Have a good day, and I'll see you guys next time, alright? Peace out. Bye-bye. Toot-toot-toot!